Would you want to live forever? Since the dawn of time, humans have been chasing the secret to immortality. But could science actually turn this dream into reality? Imagine this. You're partying with aliens in the year 3024, gazing at Earth from a space station light years away, completely surrounded by mind-blowing futuristic tech. Sounds like sci-fi, right? But hey, if you could live forever, who knows what's possible? We've made incredible breakthroughs in medicine, biotech, and even AI. But here's the real question. Is immortality as amazing as we think? Or could it turn into an endless nightmare? So let's dive in. Can humans really achieve immortality? And more importantly, would we even want to? To understand immortality, we first need to understand why humans age. So, what actually causes aging? Have you ever looked in the mirror and wondered why your body changes over time? Gray hair, wrinkles, less flexibility. These are all signs of aging. But aging isn't just about looking older. It's a complex process happening inside your body. One of the main reasons we age is because of telomeres, the protective caps at the ends of our chromosomes. Every time a cell divides, its telomeres get shorter, kind of like the plastic tips on shoelaces wearing down over time. When they become too short, cells can't divide anymore, and they start to weaken. On top of that, free radicals, unstable molecules produced by metabolism, pollution, and unhealthy lifestyles, damage cells, and speed up the aging process. But that's not all. Over time, DNA in our bodies constantly gets damaged by things like environmental toxins, UV radiation, and even stress. When we're young, our bodies can repair this damage, but as we get older, that ability declines, leading to cell dysfunction. Plus, chronic inflammation and overactive immune response plays a major role in aging, contributing to age-related diseases like Alzheimer's, diabetes, and heart disease. So, what has science done to fight death? Humans have always been obsessed with the idea of living forever. From medieval alchemists searching for the elixir of life, to today's tech billionaires pouring billions into anti-aging research, it's clear that nobody really wants to grow old. But can we actually conquer immortality? Or is it just a far-fetched dream? First, let's talk about the hacks scientists are experimenting with to extend lifespan. Some researchers are focusing on telomeres, those tiny protective caps at the ends of DNA strands that act like the body's countdown clock. Each time a cell divides, telomeres shorten, and when they become too short, your cells stop functioning, making your body wear out over time. The solution? Some scientists believe we can extend telomeres to slow down aging, essentially giving our genes a facelift. Beyond telomeres, scientists are also experimenting with stem cells, magical cells that can transform into any type of cell in the body and help regenerate damaged tissue. The theory is that if we could continuously replace aging cells with fresh ones, we'd never really age. But there's a small problem. We still don't know how to control stem cells perfectly. What if we succeed, only to accidentally create a bunch of cancer cells instead? In addition, CRISPR gene editing technology is opening up possibilities to tweak the human genome and eliminate aging factors. Sounds like science fiction, but experiments on animals have already shown promising results. In fact, companies like Calico, Google-owned, and Altos Labs, backed by Jeff Bezos, are investing billions in reversing aging. Why? Because even the richest people on Earth don't want to end up looking like a dried-up raisin. If you don't have billions to spend on high-tech anti-aging treatments, don't worry. There's still a way to live longer, healthy eating and slowing down your lifestyle. Studies show that people living in blue zones, places with the highest life expectancy like Okinawa, Japan, and Sardinia, Italy, don't have access to futuristic technology. Instead, they eat less meat, drink wine in moderation, stay active daily, and maintain a positive mindset. In other words, if you can't afford an immortality pill, try ditching fast food, stop stressing over work, and get enough sleep. At the very least, you'll look younger for longer. Imagine if we could live forever. Would that really be a good thing? What would the world look like if no one ever died? At 
first glance, it sounds like a dream. No fear of aging, no diseases taking away our loved ones. But hold on, let's think a little further. First, the economy and society would change entirely. If no one ever died, the population would skyrocket. What would happen to housing, food, and resources? If everyone lived forever, who would step aside to make room for future generations? Innovation and progress might stagnate because the same people would hold on to power indefinitely with no reason to move on. And what about human emotions? Loss is painful, but it also teaches us to cherish every moment. If we were immortal, would love still feel as deep? Would goodbyes still matter? If everything lasted forever, would we still feel the urgency to strive, to chase our dreams? Or would we take everything for granted? Is immortality really worth wanting? Imagine being the only person on Earth who cannot die. At first, it sounds exciting. No illness, no aging, unlimited time to chase your dreams. You have thousands of years to learn everything, travel the world, and witness humanity's greatest events. But then, you realize you're trapped in an endless loop. The world changes, people come and go, yet you remain, unchanged, like a stone in the river of time. You watch bustling cities crumble into ruins, civilizations rise and fall. The people you once loved slowly fade away, and beautiful memories become nothing more than blurry fragments in your mind. You can meet new people, build new relationships, but in the end, the outcome never changes. You will always have to say goodbye. One day, you sit on a park bench, ready to share a joke, but there's no one left to laugh with. There's no one to share your joy, no one to reminisce about the past. Your memories keep piling up, but no one remembers who you are. At that point, immortality is no longer a gift. It becomes an endless solitude. And let's not forget, without a time limit, would you even have the motivation to do anything? If you knew you had forever, would you still be eager to chase your dreams? Or would you just keep putting everything off? If there's no end, is anything truly valuable? We don't need to live forever. We need to live meaningfully. Life is precious because it has an end. Knowing our time is limited makes us cherish every moment, love with all our hearts, take risks, and pursue what truly matters. And if anyone ever asks me, would you want to be immortal? I'd answer right away. Only if the world has free buffets forever. Perhaps, instead of dreaming about immortality, we should focus on living the most meaningful life, right? So, what do you think? Do humans truly need to be immortal? Share your thoughts in the comments. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit like, share, and subscribe so you won't miss our latest content. Life may have limits, but knowledge doesn't. So let's explore new things together every day. Thank you for watching.